Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Game Dev Tycoon. So, last time we started off our company, and uh, today we're going to continue with our money-making scheme, and hopefully we're going to make some good games and not go bankrupt. <laughs> that's that's basically what we're trying to do here. So, I guess we'll get started. We'll we'll uh, let's see what we can do here. We can find some contract work actually. I don't think we really want to do that yet because um, I don't know. We could generate some game reports, but I think we'll do that in a second. Uh, we'll develop a new game. We'll make a new game. We will make... Do we make aliens yet? I don't think we have. I think we'll make an alien RPG. Maybe. No. Simulation strategy. I don't know. Let's do RPG. And it will be on the Tez. Mm, do we want to invest in the Tez? It is way more than the G64 and the PC. So maybe we will invest in the Tez. It'll be around for a while. I don't know. I think we'll do it. Spend 80k. Hopefully that's not all of our money. That would be really great if it's not. Oh crap, it's 40k. I don't have I don't have that much money, man. <laughs> I'm going to lose, aren't I? Crap. Okay. Let's let's name it um Aliens not the movie cuz I think it came out around now, right? Not not the movie. Not the movie. By who made it? I don't know who made it. The guy who made The Martian actually made Aliens, I'm pretty sure. And we'll make it text-based so it doesn't doesn't cost as much. Right? Will that work? Nah. Eh. Uh, we'll go with that. Okay. Hope okay, we're going bankrupt. We gotta hurry up, man. Okay, so engine can be kind of low, gameplay high, and starting costs can be high. Because it's RPG, right? So, and maybe we'll put that down a little bit more. Okay. Okay, we gotta hurry up. <laughs> if we don't if we don't go any faster, we're gonna freaking like go bankrupt and lose the game. So we gotta freaking hurry. Okay. Um, AI should be good. Dialogue could probably be pretty high. Level design could be about equal to dialogue. AIs probably want to be pretty high maybe I don't know I think that's good and uh, <laughs> okay there goes down the hatch there goes the money oh never mind okay we have time uh, the recently released Tez home console by Ninvento has proven to be a massive success sale numbers have exceeded expecta expectations by far okay that is good uh, as one customer says I love the games that come with the Tez and playing with a controller is so much more fun than a keyboard I, I, I can believe that statement. That is a true statement, I think. It's a bit easier. Um, sound, we probably want pretty crap. And basic sounds. Yeah, sure. But maybe we'll make the sounds a little higher. Since we got basic sounds, maybe because we're investing 5k, make it a little better. That should probably be good. And we're losing money like crazy. We better hurry up. Stop scratching your head, Timmy. We want to make the games now. Not like in a week from now when we lose all our money. We, this better be a good game because if this isn't a good game, all our money's going down the hole. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh boy. Come on, fix the bugs, Timmy. We should really get a better name than Timmy, but it's fine. We should... Aliens. I spelled aliens wrong, <laughs> I think. Anyway. Okay, let's hurry this up. We got a new record. Level 2s are leveling up quite nicely. Hurry the hell up, Timmy. Let's uh, generate a game report on learning A123 ABC. It did pretty good. So we'll do a gener. Usually doing game reports is pretty good because it helps us figure out stuff sooner than later. Uh, the first reviews of our game has come in. Aliens, not the movie, spelt wrong. I guess it's because... I don't know, never mind. Okay, five, that's not too bad. Hopefully a six or seven. Six, okay, that's pretty good. Uh, let's see what else we got. Hopefully something good. Five. Okay, that's that's all right. That's all right. That's all right. Six. Okay. I think this will do good. I think this will put us out of bankruptcy. This better hurry the hell up. <sighs> if we get to minus fifty, we're done. Our post-release analysis. Um, school and strategy is a great combination. Graphics seem more not oh seem not to be very important for this type of game. And platform genre match. G sixty four and strategy is great. Okay, that is good to know. Let's, uh, maybe research some new stuff. We'll get some, we'll need to get some more money to get a new, uh, to get a, what's it called? Custom game engine. So let's research, oops, did I not get a topic? Okay. Uh, game dev, history, evolution. I feel like evolution was pretty good back in the day. We'll do that quick. Okay, we are making really good money from the Aliens move, not the movie. Maybe it's the, oh, it could have been the game based, it could have been a game based off of the movie. But I don't think it came out yet. I'm not sure with the preciseness. Uh, studies have shown some platforms become more popular with younger gamers, while others cater for the more mature age groups. Okay. 
As more and more developers enter the market, we expect developers to focus their games on specific age groups to really make an impact. All right. Uh, target audience. Oh, okay. We might want to do that, actually. Uh, so we've researched evolution. So we have quite a bit of money. We'll probably want to see what how much this is. 30k and 15 RP. Mm, maybe we should make one more game before we research that. Let's do an evolution. We'll call it... Um, what was that guy's name? Darwin? Darwin? Darwin... Dar Darwinism? I think that's how you spell it. The game. It'll be like Spore, except... If you've ever heard of that game, except um, really crap. So it'll be like a simulation. And it'll be for the Tez. I feel like that would be pretty good. Okay, here goes all of our money. It could be text-based, to be honest. I don't know. Just keep it like that. And, uh, oh yeah, he's working on that. Uh, don't forget creating custom game engines. Oh yeah, okay. This will improve your games a lot. Oh, okay, I didn't know it was that important. You can create your custom engine through the action menu once you have researched the custom engine. Okay, maybe we should do that. I don't know. We don't really have that much money to do it, though. Um, oh, it just said 50 RP. For some reason, I thought it said 50 grand. Never mind. Okay, maybe we can do that after this game, though. I'll have the story and quest really low because I don't think you really need that. Engine pretty high and gameplay probably the highest. That seems good. Yeah, that seems good. Okay, we'll keep researching. This has gotten us a lot of money. Aliens, not the movie. Rank 100, what does that mean? Okay, maybe it's the hundredth, top 100th game? I don't know. Um, AI, probably pretty high because you think there'd be other uh, creatures around the main one. Dialogue could be really low. Or maybe we want it like in the middle because it's a simulation. And then level design could be eh. I think that would be good. All right, T design technology is going through the roof. Following the massive success of the TES console, there are now rumors circulation circulating the Vina, another Japanese company, is planning to release a home gaming console on their own. Is that... That's not Sega. No. What is that? I don't know. Maybe it is Sega. It doesn't sound anything like it, though. Okay. Anyway. Uh, sound can be, like, horrible, and then, uh... Graphics can be better than world design. Sure, why not? Just for some differences. Okay, Alien... Not the movie. I got really confused there. Aliens Not the Movie is now off the market. It sold a lot of monies. I, I probably won't read stuff like that. Because um, you can just pause it and see it if you really want to. Okay, let's get the bugs fixed. It's usually a pretty bad thing if you uh, uh, finish it without with bugs. Because people get mad at you. Because you have a bunch of bugs in your game. I guess that makes sense, you know. You usually don't want a game with a bunch of bugs in it. Alright, let's... Uh, do some what's game history oh okay it just tells you like the past okay the reviews of darwinism the game came in i don't know maybe i don't have to name everything the game or not the game anyway this is really good dang dang man seven and seven this is our highest one so far another seven? Oh my god what else another seven full sevens oh baby let's go let us go let's research Okay, so yeah, I thought this said 50k for some reason, and I have no clue why, but we can just research that easy peasy. Okay, today Vina has confirmed recent rumors about a new gaming console and announced the Master V. Is that Matt? I don't know what that would be. Okay, uh, the company claims that the Master V is technically superior to the massive, su massively successful Tez by Ninvento and plans to release it in the coming months. I don't know what that's based off of. Not the Sega Genesis. Hmm, I don't know. All right, we're researching this. We're getting a crap ton of money. Look at this, boy. Look at all this money. It's just rolling in, and we're just got it. We just got done game console or custom game engine, and now we can do game tutorials and mono sound. So mono sound is like individual ears. Hmm, that's pretty cool actually. So let's let's see the contract work. Maybe there's some stuff, just some quick stuff. I feel like we could do this for 15k. Let's do that. I hope we can do it. Oh geez, it's gonna be close getting lots of money from that game too we have almost 500 fans that's not too bad that's not too bad all right 15k sweet let's uh so we can do target audience oh yeah so now stuff costs money so this is where the money comes in um let's see what new topics are mm. oh space yeah let's do space that's a good topic it's like the 80s i think and it's like that's that's when space is popular star wars the second one came out and possibly the third one i don't exactly remember when it came out <laughs> didn't the third one came out in like 1992 
Hmm. I might be wrong on that. I don't know. All right. Space. Let's go. Let's make a space game. It will be a space adventure. Heck yeah. For the Tez. I just imagine like a little guy like with a jetpack in like the Millennium Falcon. Let's name it S Star Battle. Star. Star Battle. And, and then in brackets, not Star Wars whatsoever. Whatsoever. Oh crap, I ran out of space. Not, st I'll just put not Star Wars, that's good. Not Star Wars. Perfecto. 2D graphics, let's go. Okay, we got 185k in sales, that's pretty good. That is, I think, our best game so far. Alright, Star Battle, not Star Wars. Just to make sure, we gotta clarify. Okay, the game... Uh, that new console came out. I forgot what it was called. Okay, so if it's adventure. We'll probably want stories and quests pretty high. Engine in stories and quests. Engine could be a little lower. Because you want more You want more quests, I think. And the gameplay will be really high. Alright, I think that's good. Oh boy. We kind of lost quite a bit of research points there. We had like almost 100, but now we're back down to like 40. Um, dialogues. And eh, dialogues can be okay. So what does this mean? It's not good? Or is it good to have level design? Is it good or not good to have level design? I don't know. AI could go down. And level design will go... I'm gonna hope that this means minus. I think last time I concurred with minus. <laughs> so I'm gonna hope that's what that means. And otherwise I'm screwed. Alright. Let's hope that that was right. So see, like if I hadn't researched that game earlier, it wouldn't have... Well, told me that. So it's kind of a good thing to know. Hopefully, if that was a good thing. I'm not sure. Um, world design? Uh, probably pretty high. And sound can just eh, be like that. That's good. All right. Um, the recently re recently released gaming console, Master V by Vina, has stirred up the market worldwide. Industry experts say that the console is not very well marketed in North America, but it will flourish in other parts of the world. Okay. So I assume we live in North America, so maybe we shouldn't really invest in it too much. All right. We'll finish up this game here. There we go. Finish it up. See what else we can do. Hopefully we get some good monies from this. So then we can invest in like tutorials and mono sound and stuff. Alright, released it. Let's uh generate game report for Darwinism, because it did so good. Um Hopefully the reviews come in. Okay, here we go. Star Battle, not Star Wars. You gotta clarify. Cause if you don't clarify aw oh, crap, what? If you don't clarify it's not Star Wars, they'll just automatically assume it's Star Wars. And we don't want to rip people off in buying our game that they think is Star Wars. Oh, what? Waste of money. But I said not Star Wars. That's what I was explaining. <laughs> Maybe, I think, I think these people thought that it was Star Wars and they're like, what the hell is this? This isn't Star Wars. I don't like this. All right. We're doing decent. The sales are not too bad. Okay. The sales aren't too bad. We uh, finished Darwinism. See what it is. Evolution and simulation. Is a great combination. AI seems to be very important for the type of game. And platform genre, Tez Cell Simulation is okay. Okay, it's not great, but it's okay. Alright, well, I think we'll leave it here for today. Hope you all enjoyed this episode. Make sure to like if you would want more of the game dev. Next time, we will continue to make some more games. Research probably some of these things since we have, like, so much money. We could probably research, like, mono sound and game target audience. I feel like that would be good. Some new topics. And eventually, I think we can make a new engine as well. So, yeah. I'll see you next time. I hope you all enjoyed. Bye.